What's going on guys, Mimic here with another video. This one we're gonna be talking a little bit about what you guys need to be doing once you hit level 50. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my rotation and my experience with the game and I'm gonna give you guys some guidance on what I think you guys should be doing as far as what the end game rotation is gonna look like once you actually hit 50. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to get your weapon to plus nine blue once you get to level 50. And the reason is because once you get to level 50, you'll open up these dungeons here that are only accessible once you get to level 50. Now, they do have lower level ones. This is a level 20. You can see here level 20. So you can do Specter's Abyss once you're level 20. You can do Temple of Roar once you're level 30. And then you can do Cave of Desperation once you're level 40. But there's some level 50 ones these are all level 50 dungeons these open up once you are level 50. now the difference is one the gear that you're going to get from these level 50 dungeons is much much better they come with better traits and the drops overall are better that you can see they drop all these marins and uh stalins all these different gems that you can get that you can flip on the market to make a good lucent and they also drop a bunch of really good blue lithographs here that you can craft gear and either use yourself or sell them on the market if you get a great success on the craft you can also sell the traits that these come with to make some lucent so the first thing the first thing that i would suggest is once you guys actually get to level 50 focus on getting your weapon to plus nine now you can do that by farming these growth stones okay and you get these growth stones by doing contracts now my favorite place to do contracts is the very northwest side of the map called pure light tower if you come here there is an npc that'll give you contracts and then you can just farm these at your leisure when you've got some downtime in the game and just farm them as you go they're very easy the contracts take a few minutes to do and they are repetitive but they're very easy it's really easy content you get gold from doing them and you get those growth stones this is the guy you get your contracts from the contract manager now every day you're going to get 10 contracts that refill so you can do 10 of these a day and it's your choice on if you want to do these daily or if you want to stack them up and do them at the end of the week in one go it's preference up to you i like to stack them up and just knock them all out once i've got some downtime or if i've got some time in my day i'll come log in and do contracts you can see here i've got 50 out of 60 and i can just choose whatever contracts i want to do and they're going to give you the reward that they show so for instance here shattered temple level 50 to 50 the one who never wakes when i click it it's going to tell you what you need to do i need to kill uh, I need to kill 18 of these Galu Knights. And when, once I do, the contract is going to give me some rare magic powder. It's going to give me these Abyss tokens. And it's also going to give me seven blue armor growth stones. I can then, once I get enough growth stones, if I have blue armor, I can go ahead and level up the armor. Now, all my armor is already level plus nine blue, which is the highest that you can take it. But obviously they weren't that level when i was level 50 when i was level 50 they were like level one they were you know very low level blue items and then eventually i did enough contracts so that i could farm the growth stones and i leveled all my stuff to plus nine so all my blues are plus nine and all my purples are roughly plus six which is the base plus six so what i would recommend is once you have your uh weapon plus nine do your dungeons farm the dungeons and what i would recommend is when you do dungeons uh it, let's say you're trying to get a purple dagger like my laquarius thorny edge any dungeon you do any level 50 dungeon that you do is going to grant you a chance to get this box here if you're lucky you'll get the box on a drop took me like 20 something odd raids or, or dungeons before i got my first uh box but when i did i did roll the laquarius thorny edge and i was able to get this purple laquarius thorny edge uh from the box so if you're lucky you may get a box early and you can start farming your weapons um and get stronger that way so once you get your plus nine blue you can roll that into a plus six purple and there you go you now have your purple weapon that you can start leveling now um 
once you get your purple weapons the only way that you can actually level them up is by doing your contracts so you have to come here you can you know again you don't have to come to pure light you can go to any place into your contracts but i come to pure light i think they're very easy contracts here uh you can see they give you xp they give you gold they give you contract tokens and they give you activity points every time you do your contracts so um you're gonna want to farm your contracts you can see here i've got a bunch of growth stones so i got one two three four i've got almost 700 uh weapon growth stones and the reason i'm farming these is because i'm going to try to tap both my weapons both my purple weapons to plus nine now at plus nine they're going to be maxed out i'm going to get the most benefits from both my weapons plus nine and i'm ultimately going to be stronger so i'm currently farming right now so that i can do a separate youtube video to get both of these plus nine i'm going to be breaking down how much the growth stones i actually needed and how much gold it actually costs to do both of them so that you guys can get a sense of what kind of grinding you're gonna have to do to get both your purple weapons to plus nine. So I'm working on that now. Um, so that once you get to 50, get your blue weapon to plus nine and then start doing your dungeons, get your purple weapon, get that to plus six. Ultimately, you wanna get at least both weapons purple, okay? That's gonna be kind of what you're wanting to do first step. Now, the second thing is, you're also going to be at the same time wanting to get all your skills to purple now to get your skills to purple you'll need a material called the purple marind you can see here i've got three that three of them uh you can buy these on the market if you have lucent um you just go to the marketplace here and um you go into other and materials and you can see here they're currently 60 lucent a pop they have dropped considerably since server merge they used to be about 150 to 160 each now they're 60 so they're about one third the price now so even if you're late to the show it's okay you can still buy these for lucent and you can still use these to level up your skills so once you're 50 you'll be wanting to do your dungeons because the dungeons do drop the purple marins let me just show you really quick here if you click here you can see here purple marin so every time you do your dungeons there's a chance that you could get a purple marin and it's your choice if you want to sell it on the market or if you want to use it to get your skills to purple now when your skills are blue, you actually don't use purple marins to level them. You use blue marins to level them. But the thing is with purple, if you have purple marins and you hit dissolve, you can see here, they're going to give me those blue marins. So that's why you do want to uh, try to get these purple marins because you can dissolve them for blue marins and each marin will give you one skill book. So this is 45 blue skill books that I can use, assuming that my skills we're still blue and I can use them to tap my skills to get them to purple. So that's going to be something you guys want to do once you guys get to level 50 is just keep doing your dungeons, keep doing your contracts. Eventually, the game is going to give you a bunch of purple marins that you can use to dissolve and then turn those purple marins into blue marins, which you can then use to increase your skills to purple. You can see here every skill that I've got is purple. All my passives that I use are all purple. OK, I focused on this very early. It's one of the first things I did, and it helped me get DPS. Uh, increased very early on and it, it's helped me in PvP massively because I was stronger than a lot of people but now that people are catching up it's more of an even fight which I don't mind it makes the game more fun so get your weapon a plus nine and get it roll it into a purple weapon also work on your skills get them to purple as soon as possible once you're 50 you, again you can do those by getting those purple marins from the dungeons or if you have lucent because maybe you swiped or maybe you sold some things on the market you can buy the purple marins on the market you can dissolve them into the blue marins here and then you can use those blue marins to work on getting your skills to purple so that would be the second tip that i have for you uh another thing is when you do your dungeons here there's going to be times that you get stuff like uh let's say you get this belt right and let's say you don't need the belt you can do two things with the belt you can dissolve it and it's going to give you dimension crystals these are what the dimension crystals look like i've got 20 of them if you get 40 of these dimension crystals you can get a free box if you get 40 of them you can go to this castle down here you can go to this castle. I'll just show you guys real quick for the video. Once you get 40 uh, crystals, you can come down to this castle and you can trade those 40 crystals for a free weapon box. OK, you just come over here to the senior weapon crafter Hanzo here. And Hanzo 
will let you come here to the weapon materials if you scroll down there is the paloas dimension chest you can see here it costs 40 crystals and if you buy it you can pretty much purchase any weapon that you want now this is very important because this is how you're going to get traits on your weapons you can see here on my Laquarius blade that i have uh melee heavy attack chance so what i was doing is i was saving up my dimension crystals on items that i didn't need i was dissolving those for the crystals and then I was getting those crystals and I was buying the boxes. I did buy a few boxes. I would say probably three or four boxes. Eventually, I got I rolled a thorny edge and it came with melee heavy attack chance, which then I was able to roll that trait into my main dagger. And now I was able to get the melee heavy attack chance on this dagger. So what you'll want to do is once you get to level 50, if you have weapons that you don't have the perfect traits on, just keep doing your dungeons every day. They give you three dungeons that you can do a day. You can see here I've got 2100 uh, con uh, tokens that I have that will let me go into a dungeon. Each dungeon costs 300 of these. So, um, you know, I can do quite a bit of these dungeons. Also, the game does award you a bunch of these contract tokens here, and they're worth 100 points each. I've got 39, so that's roughly uh, 10 dungeons that I have here that I can, I can just double click this, and it's going to make this uh, contract token go up. You can see here the max you can have is 4,500. Uh, and if I get low on these, let's say I do a bunch of dungeons one day, I can just come and refill myself here so that I'm, I'm not having to wait for the next day to come. So I've got these here loaded up and ready to go in case I do a, a bunch of dungeons and I want to continue doing dungeons. I can go ahead and just use these dimension contract token um, tokens and I'll be able to continue doing dungeons and getting the chance of getting the drops. Now, it is important to note even if you run out of dungeon contracts, you can still do dungeons. You can do as many dungeons as you want. There's no cap. The only thing is you won't be able to get a chance for any materials or any drops, but you still will get the gold for clearing the dungeon and you can make anywhere between 50,000 to 200,000 gold a pop. I think the average for me is about 100, 130,000 gold, which is pretty good if you can clear the dungeon in like 10, 15 minutes, okay? Um, Another thing you're going to want to do is your PVP events. So once you get to level 50, there's going to be an event timetable here. The red ones are PVP, the green ones are guild, and the blue ones are passive or peace uh, events. Now, I am a big PVPer, so I only do PVP uh, events. You can see here the Talisman Delivery. If you're rank 1, they're going to give you two Precious Marins. They're going to give you some rare parchments. Rank 2 to 5 is going to give you one of those purple marins at rank 6 to 10 is going to give you one of the other purple marins and then ranks 11 to 20 are going to give you six rare marins so if you're looking to level up your gear or you're trying to or, or sorry if you're looking to level up your skills or maybe your skills are already max level or whatnot you can go to these events to get these marins and then you can sell those marins on the market for lucent and then you can use that lucent to buy all the traits that you want for your weapons and gears so there's always something to do in the game even if you're maxed out on everything there's always something that you can do there's always some type of event that you can attend there's all you know you can do your contracts if you're run out of contracts you can do dungeons if you're done with your dungeons you can do events if you're if you don't want to do events you can go and farm the open world dungeons to make gold there's a lot of things that you can do in the game it just depends on what your rotation is and what your priority is in the game at the time when you guys to level 50 when you guys get to level 50 my recommendation is work on getting your skills to purple first as long as well as getting your uh blue weapon that you'll have by the time you are level 50 try to get that to plus nine as soon as you can because when you start doing your dungeons people are going to be asking you to to link your weapon in the chat and they're going to want to see that you have a max level blue plus nine weapon and then they'll invite you into the party so the way you can do that again is by doing your contracts just go do your contracts get all the weapon growth stones and then use those growth stones to level up your blue weapon to plus nine as soon as possible and 
that's pretty much it you're going to want to rinse and repeat that every day again it depends how you want to do it on the contracts you can do 10 a day if you want to do 10 a day and log in every day and do them or you can save them up for the week you get 10 a day and you can max them out at 60 so you can wait six days if you don't have any and then on the sixth day you can do all 60 contracts if that's what you like to do maybe you're busy during the week and can't dedicate that much time to the game so on the weekend you can log in and knock out all of your content all of your content right then and there also uh, like I said, they give you 300 of these tokens, uh, sorry, 900 of these tokens every day that you can do. Um, so every five days, they're going to max out on your dungeons. So you can log in once once a week, do your dungeons and and, you know, just continue to farm the dungeons and you will be able to get uh, your traits for your gear. Because like, for instance, this Duke Magnus belt, it drops from one of the guys that's in the dungeons it's going to drop from i believe it's uh, butcher's canyon yep it's right here so if i'm trying to farm let's just say i'm trying to farm the uh skill damage resistance right because i don't have skill damage resistance on here then all i'm going to do is i'm going to come and try to do this dungeon and if i can do this dungeon maybe i'll get lucky and i'll get a duke magnus belt and that belt may have the skill damage resistance on it and if it does, then I can transfer that skill damage resistance onto my current belt that I have now. And let me show you why that makes sense. Because if we look here, skill damage resistance is going to be the best in slot for this belt. Let's go look and see how much it costs on the market. Um, so we're just going to go to armor. I'm sorry. We're going to go to accessories. We're going to go to belt. We're going to come down to Duke Magnus belt and we're going to look for skill damage resistance. You can see here skill damage resistance on this belt is 27, almost 2800 Lucent, which is a considerable amount of Lucent. Why spend the Lucent here when I can just do the dungeon and get a chance to get it for free? right so that is my strategy that's what i did when i got to level 50 i leveled up my skills to purple once my skills were purple i was at the same time also doing secret dungeons i was getting uh you know the different drops the different rolls all the different gear i got this gear piece from this dungeon i got this gear piece from this dungeon um let's see i got this gear piece from this dungeon and uh i think that's pretty much it everything else i either bought or or found it uh, playing the game and i still have a lot of blues right i still have this necklace blue necklace it's you know it's goaded out with all the good traits on there i'm probably not going to level this up unless i get a best in slot necklace so it's okay to keep your blues i'm going to make a separate video on that on blues versus purples that's coming up this week uh, and i'll be explaining kind of what my strategy is there you can see here i still have blue leather pants i still have blue leather boots i still have my iron gloves and i still have my blue assassin's cloak so getting purple items is nice but it is not make or break there are some you know i have a good ring here it's decent it's got the, it's got max health on it and then i have the bracers as well that i got from that dungeon but i have not been able to find better purples yet so don't be discouraged if you have a lot of blues and you're not getting your purples it's just the way it is the game's not going to give you everything at once but if you keep playing you will get those pieces so that's the video i hope it makes sense i hope it helped uh kind of wanted to give you guys some insight on what i would recommend as far as the skills and the passives what to get you know try to get those as fast as you can to purple because that's going to help you out and then also work on getting your weapon to plus nine so that when you do get your uh, purple weapons you can just roll them into the weapons and then they'll be plus six which is great and you'll be able to progress your tune that way um, and then as far as the traits go if you're getting items from these dungeons that you don't need like let's say i get this helmet right and i don't need this helmet right it's range i don't do range damage right but it but the game gives it to me if this if this item has a really good trade on it i can take the trade off and sell it for a lot of lucent right if the item does not have a good trade on it then i can dissolve it for the crystals which are these crystals right here and if you get 40 crystals you can come to the mark you can come over here to this guy give him give him the 40 crystals and he's going to give you a uh he's going to give you a box you can use that box to buy you know one of the weapons that you currently have or a weapon that you need and then you can use that if it's got a good trait to do the same thing you can put the trait on your weapon if it doesn't have a good trait you can dissolve it 
and get even more crystals back the weapons give you plus 12 crystals and the accessories and armors give you plus six crystals you can see here again i have 20 so i need 20 more so that i can buy another box but that was kind of my tips and tricks on what the end game rotation looks like if you guys liked it hit the like button it helps me out big time helps other people look at my video it pushes it out the youtube algorithm if you guys have any questions throw me a question in the comment section and i will reply to that myself and if you guys liked the video and want to see more all you got to do is hit sub i drop weekly videos all the time and i've got some really cool videos coming up that's going to break down a little bit of my thought process on what the game is moving forward what i you know what i like about the game what i don't like about the game and some recommendations tips and tricks for people that are looking to play a throne of liberty come in a launch so you'll you know you won't you won't want to miss those videos just hit sub and you'll be notified once those videos come out again thank you guys so much for watching Till next time my friends peace